Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Wisely G here. We're on part 14 now of the Dark Souls 3 series. So now we are going to go fight the Deacons of the Deep, which is going to be on that fog wall right over there. So um, you don't necessarily have to summon uh, Horus over here. I mean, it's not completely necessary, but sometimes I like to. I mean, it's all a matter of preference. These this this boss battle is not, you know, too difficult, but it's nice to have another body just because there's so many of them. So, uh, you know, it's really up to you. If you're having troubles with it, yeah, definitely summon Horus to uh, come along with you, but otherwise, it's not that difficult. And as you can see, yeah, there's a shit ton of them. But you want to fuck these guys up ones that are glowing because ooh this is going to work really well I bet oh yeah sorry I just had to turn down the game volume my TV volume I should say where is it okay sorry horse this is the reason why you're here So yeah, the guys that are all got that like pink red smoke on them, those are the ones you want to kill. Until uh, the real boss shows himself. Okay, where are we at? There he is. I mean, you can whack away at these guys just to kind of clear them up a little bit, but, you know, they can become a little tedious. They don't drop souls or anything. And there's the real boss. He's got his big boy boys over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, and his uh, bodyguards don't really like you fighting him. Oh, Jesus. Come on, horse. And then that's the Deacons of the Deep boss battle. Not too difficult at all. Pretty easy. And then I don't think there's anything else in here. So that pretty much wraps this area up. Uh, first thing we want to do before we go is go check that well. That's at the basically the starting bonfire. It's at the Cleansing Chapel, so you can do it either other w either way, I believe. Um, you can. I think you can get the armor, and before you fight the boss, and then go over to the well and still drop it down, and uh, vice versa. Yes. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. 
I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone swiped my armor. Yes, they did. Did you happen to see it anywhere? So we shall. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of until we meet him. <laughs> no need to worry me. until. <laughs> awesome. So got that taken care of. I think that Gray Rat might be dead because he needs Sigward around wherever he's gonna go search around to go scavenge shit as far as I'm aware so let's go back to Firelink I want to see if that's going to make any difference and then is the pilgrim still here nope okay yeah pilgrim dies right <laughs> He he dies after Deacons of the Deep, and then Prithee, he's replaced with this bitch. Master, I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my another matter. That a lord, art thou not? Bearer. Of the dark situ for the time thou remainst our lord and I of course and then yep she is now your your girl oh I uh, the person you can buy this bullshit from magic stuff what the fuck is this dark hand huh interesting I, I don't ever remember, recall seeing that. So, hollow, take appearance of a phantom, lose nothing upon death, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Awesome. Oh. That a lord bearer for the time that and I, that a lord bearer for the time. Yeah, and then you're just going to say same old bullshit. Cool. Ah, oh, Grey Rat, you're not dead. Oh, hello. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on. Okay. What'd you get? Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Cool, he's back. You can keep them as... Yeah, okay. Thanks, bro. Appreciate ya. Go grab a drink sometime. Welcome home, speak very well. Then top take Nara. Can I level up? I think I have enough. Yes, I do for one point. Get my strength up to 24. Oh, and then these guys are here now. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andri of Astora, I'm well pleased to see you say we reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithel in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Key. Yes, it does. And so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Key. Aldrich's honest home. Okay, and you're just gonna go ha. 
Yeah. As his brain slowly starts to wither away. Then Deacons of the Deep. What do you drop? You drop the Deep Soul. Cleric's Candlestick. Meh. Maybe if I was doing like a Sorcerer build, then that might be cool. Like a Dark build. But, uh, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay, I think I did everything. The top of my head. Okay, let's go over to Fair and Keep. So in a previous video, I did say that I did go through there just to go pick up the Estus Shard. I will try and show you guys where it's at. Uh, don't... Oh, man. Hopefully, I'll give you guys the right area. So let's just say we're going to go for it, and then hopefully it'll be right. If not, then, you know, the wiki is always a great thing to look up. And while you see me run around and you notice me not going for where other items are at, it's mainly because I've already picked them up. Except that. Oh, fair and keep. I certainly did not miss you through my playthrough. At least the poison isn't, like, as significantly bad compared to dark the previous titles. No thank you. No thank you. I mean, you can pretty much tank through this area when it comes to the poison. If it becomes pretty hectic and kind of heavy to deal with, then I would definitely recommend using the moss clumps. So I gotta like do another quick run through of this place because I know I, ha I didn't get everything. Oh, I did. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good, you didn't kill me. So yeah, when they do that, try to avoid it because they'll start to fuck you up. They will really mess you up. Because it buffs them. And the buff, ah, oh, it's not really fun to deal with. I'm so bad at parrying at this game, guys. See, like, I was just playing uh, Dark Souls, the first one of the trilogy, anyways. And uh, I, I, I could parry so well, just because the movements were it was, were a bit slower. But fuck, you gotta, like, really get the reaction time down here.
Now, I don't quite know why I have to run around and, ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So, I gotta run around and put out three of these furnaces in order to open up this door. And there's a really nice area that you can go to, which I will be running through. I think it's the Watchdogs of Farron Covenant. That's where you get that. And it's really nice because if you're lost, you can kind of just like get up high and kind of scope the area and get a general direction of where you need to go and to find the furnaces. You're a fucking asshole, bro. Not what I wanted to do. Come on. Yeah, there's a bonfire in there, too. Gotta check every little corner, cause you never know what you're missing. Okay, yeah, there's the door. So before we go that way, I need to be sure I get every single goddamn thing that's here. Plenty of good uh, crafting materials here as well. I forgot there was crabs here. Oh no, I don't want to fight you in this. Oh wow, that's uh, mighty inconvenient. Old pine bundle. Oh. Come on. There we go. The fuck is that? Lingering Dragon Crest Ring. Wish I could tell you uh, what that does off the top of my head. Always down for some more ember as well. And then I guarantee you we're gonna get some white birch branches. What was that? I didn't read it. God damn it. Why do I go through things too fast? Cold pine bundle. Interesting. Nice. I guess not so interesting as in hell yeah. the fuck did I pick up? I think it was a headpiece. Yeah, it was. Crown of Dusk. Feathered crown bestowed upon the princes of uh, La land of ancient golden sorceries. It's gonna raise the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attacks. Mm, okay. So it raises my magic damage. 
but also lowers my resistance to it. And let's check this ring. Extend, extends length of spell effect. All right. Oops. How did I miss you? Please, let me get some an easier place to run in. Thank you. I have no idea what those things are supposed to be. Mushroom warriors. Oh, come on, bruh. That was a good parry. There we go. Oh, rest in peace, little mushroom bros. Tragedy. Sage's scroll. Oh, God, these things. Okay, yeah, there's fucking three of them. Thank you. Alright, can I just pull one at a time? Or is that just going to be a no-go? Definitely going to be a no-go. Yeah, these skulls, dude. They fuck you up. Give me just one. Not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, really not good. Oh, God, I hate those things. They drop a good amount of souls. They're just a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Alright, so I actually think we're going to take a break right here. So, next episode, we will continue to pursue this whole shithole. And, um, hopefully we'll be able to get to the Abyss Walkers. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I think so. We'll be able to get into another boss fight. Uh, well, I think we're gonna do the demon first. And then we'll go and fight those dudes so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i truly appreciate it be sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget the game wisely i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye